Hello everybody, this is Chef Saul Montiel. We're here at Cantina Rooftop. My favorite place in the world. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Listen, today I'm going to teach you how to make guacamole three different ways. My way, a nice way, and, and an incredible way. So do me a favor. Go grab yourself a piece of paper, write this down. Guess what? The summer is coming and you need to make the best guacamole. So I'm about to teach you, okay? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to grab yourself a paper and a piece of pen or pencil. So we're gonna start with beautiful avocados, like this one, right? And um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do chunky guacamole. Chunky like me. That kind of chunky, the best chunky. You know the the good things are normally chunky, like me. So we are going to remove the seed from here. I call that hueso de aguacate. We're gonna use three avocados, and we're gonna dice them like that. You do one, two, three, four. You flip it, one, two, three, four, you stop. Don't go all the way inside because you're gonna cut your hand. I'm doing this because I am a professional. I am a professional, I am a professional. Everybody keeps saying that. You ever watch that movie, Men on Fire? Man, that movie is the best. I love that movie. The other day, I wanted to watch it on, on, um, on the TV and I looked for it. And it was like $5, I'm like, $5? Ah, I didn't watch it again. Because I didn't want to spend $5. I spent too much money in my life. I don't want to spend any more money. I want to save, save for my daughters, you know? They, um, they're gonna go to school, so they need a lot of money. Saulito, my newborn baby, he's crazy, he's trouble. Um, Ella and Elena, Ella and Elena. I call her Elena. So there you have three avocados, right? We already diced them. Now we are going to smash them. But we're gonna smash them halfway. And out of this simple recipe, we are going to make something crazy. Okay, we smash them a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Halfway, mix it, mix it, mix it. And now we're gonna add some onion. A lot of onion, I like a lot of onion. We add the onions, we wanna add a little bit of cilantro. And then, we're gonna add some lime. Do this to the lime. Grab the lime, right, and smash it. That's gonna make it very soft. And you will get more lime, more juice out of the lime. Look at this. Use a lemon squeezer. Don't do what I do. I do this because I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, I think one lime is more than enough. Right? We're gonna salt. Plenty of salt and serrano. Do not use jalapeno unless you're a chicken. If you're a chicken, use jalapeno. But if you have like me, use serrano peppers. Cut them. Nice dice. These are nice and spicy. Boom, dump it. There we go. Now we're gonna mix it. Okay. Make sure all the lime is everywhere, the salt. Okay. So now, we're gonna make a different guacamole with this one, and a different guacamole with that one, right? Let's just take a little bit more here, a little bit more here, okay. So we're gonna start with the classic, right? In order for this guacamole to be classic, you're just gonna put some tomatoes. 
right? Just onion, serrano, slime. That's the classic one. And there you have it, the first one. Classic guacamole. Nothing crazy. Just me making the guacamole. A little bit of uh, cilantro macho. You can find this. Now, let's make a fruit guacamole. We're gonna have some mangoes, pomegranates, and apples. That's right, you can add fruit to your guacamole. Nothing's going to happen. You're gonna be amazed, trust me. Trust a skinny chef, I mean, don't trust skinny chef, trust me. Salvatore, Salvatore. Apple, cut it into dice. Small dices, don't go too crazy. The smaller, the better. So like that you get it all over your guacamole. You do apples, you do mango, you do pomegranate, and then you mix it. Look, how beautiful this looks. Okay, and now, fruit guacamole. Are you writing this down? Please, write this down because I don't want you to go back and watch the video again. I want you to get it at once. There will be more apples for garnish. There will be a pomegranate. Mango. Let me tell you something about mango. Mango used to be my nickname in school. They used to call me Mango. I don't know why they don't call me. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so now, a third guacamole, right? So we have the guacamole, we're going to add some chipotle. We're going to add some smoking in this place. It might look brown because of the pepper, but the flavor is going to be incredible. Grilled corn, enough grilled corn. And we're gonna go back up there, put it right here. And we're gonna finish this with queso fresco. Yes, and everybody gets a little bit of cilantro macho. And there you have it, guacamole. Three ways. My way, the best way, and now your way. Enjoy. Make this one for summer, winter, spring, fall, all the time. Delicious. Enjoy.